47, this is Agency Diana here. So far, no news on Father Vittorio, but we've got a neat little mission for you in Malaysia. In Kuala Lumpur, you will find the headquarters of a very talented hacker and kleptology expert, Charlie Sijan. He has managed to steal an extremely valuable piece of software. It works as a key signature in military software and was until recently the exclusive property of the U.S. government. With this nifty piece of software in the hands of an adversary, any incoming missile would be detected as American, which renders an otherwise clever missile shield worthless. Our client wants to retrieve this piece of code and exterminate Charlie Sijan and all records of this code. He's running his business under cover of a company called Kari Juarez Incorporated Computer Systems. Their network is completely sealed off and inaccessible. Your objective is to assassinate Charlie Sijan and place a small dongle on the main server of Kani Wara's incorporated computer system. This device will allow outside access to the systems. There are guards with intercoms everywhere, closed-circuit surveillance of all areas and elevators, metal detectors and reinforced steel doors with electronic locks. Your target is in the second basement. Continue from there with the direct elevator to Kani Juarez's main office. You will have to shut down some of the surveillance systems by the elevator. The only visual identification we've got is this footage of Charlie. It's from his sixth birthday. From what we know, you should be able to recognize him from this. Get your equipment in locker number 137. Find Charlie Sijan in the basement area. Kill him and access Kani Juarez by the direct elevator. All right, what's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host White Wolf NLD and today is episode 11 of the Let's Play Hitman series. So as you could see I was selecting my equipment. For this mission you're gonna need at least a pistol. Since I'm playing Classic 47, I'm hmm. selecting Quite the ballers. No time to enjoy the view. My work is on the ground. And yeah, we're gonna dive right in it. So you're gonna go to the right here. Immediately open the door on the right, and the first door on the right again. You're gonna open locker 137, and basically all you need from here is the bomb, the smoke bomb. Here I'm, I'm checking out if I really have my ballers, just to make sure, because there's actually a pistol in that locker. Then you're gonna cross the hall to the other room. And you need to do this all really fast. We're gonna so drop sorry. the smoke bomb here and run out again. If you do it fast enough, they won't sus suspect you at all. Then we're gonna go over to the left side. Remember to stay on the left side since the other side has metal detectors and we have guns with us. And you're gonna need to wait till the fire alert goes off. So yeah, right now we're waiting for the fire alert to trigger. And the door where the firemen just ran in, you're gonna wanna wait till five firemen have ran out. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, it's all clear so we can go in. Going to the left here. And we're grabbing the firemen disguise. On the left behind me, there's also a fire axe if you wanna have it. So that's just for you people that wanna be creative. Now we are actually allowed to walk through that metal detector since we're firemen. After the fire detector we're going left, and left again. And we go down into the basement. Then we're gonna go straight. And then immediately on your left is a very important room, we're gonna pick the box, this is for your escape. And that monitor on the left, all the way on the left, you're gonna wanna shoot that with your pistol. That's the only reason why you need a pistol. That's to disable the terminal. Now we're gonna go down more. And behind this door we will have our target. But be mindful, the room is loaded with crisps and if you step on them, he will notice you and turn around. So you're gonna wanna be careful not to step on any of the crisps. There is actually a route or a path through there. And how you wanna take him out, that's all up to you completely. 
For example, you can use the fire axe that I just told you about. You can use your fiber wire. Uh, you can do it my way with the silver ballers. Since you guys haven't really seen that yet, I decided to uh, take the pistol with me and use it. Since it is classic Hitman. Agency, this is 47. I've got the first objective down, but something weird here. I'm pretty sure he's got a twin brother. 47, this is Diana. Let me run that through the database. Keep on track with your mission and I'll get back to you as soon as I check this out. I'm watching you on a monitor now. Is there another apartment in the complex? It looks as if he's in one of the buildings. Please check if Carniwaras has another address here. Okay, so now all you basically want to do is get the fudge out of there and exfiltrate through the elevator that we just activated. So you're gonna go back up. There you go. Mission completed. And that's all there is to it. And as you can see, now I did not receive the Silent Assassin rating. The only reason why that happened that I can think of is that I took too long to get from that doorway into the elevator and the guard was already shouting like crazy. I'm pretty sure if you can do it faster than me, you should be getting it. And other than that, you can see me now, I'm checking out my overall stats to make sure that that is still Silent Assassin. And that was all for today's episode. I'll see you all tomorrow. Keep it cool, keep it real, keep it safe. Peace out. 47, this